Webs, it's me, Song of SG1. Welcome to my channel. As you'll see, I've got a new uh, banner above me, which is good. Um, I, I'm going a bit more, looking a bit more professional these days. You know, I keep saying professionally unprofessional. I'm trying to make it a bit more professional. So, anyway, that's beside the point. You are here for the, um, for Star Trek, the official Starships collection review. This time we're doing one of the bonus specials. USS Enterprise, NCC1701F, Star Trek Online Library. Is that how you pronounce it, Livery? I'm sure it is. And the USS Enterprise, NCC1701F um, Federation Livery. Yes, we're doing two for one, basically. Um, the reason is, is um, basically the magazines are exactly the same. It's just the, the covers are different. They're exactly the same. Let me see, let me see if I can do this. Uh, hold it up for you. Um... Just basically a different colour scheme. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, the magazines are identical inside, inside and out. So um, it just they, they've got a different different picture on the front. I was gonna I was only gonna go for one of these, but I decided that I went for both because I fucking love these. I love these ships. I love the Odyssey class. Love both these love both um, variants. So let's have another one. Um, I'm considering actually um, making this my ship. Um, USS Porkchop Express. Yeah, with, I'm going to see if I can get Dave McComb. If you're watching this, um, no, it's Dave Comb. Sorry. If you're watching this video, I'm not sure you are, but if you do, um, I don't suppose you could 3D print all the Borg enhancements for one of these, could you? Um, that would be so cool if you could. Anyway, that's beside the point. I am, I am um, going to be doing about, going to be talking about the magazine. So we'll put one away because we don't need the other one. So, we're going to get into it. Specification. USS Enterprise F. Operated by Starfleet. Class Odyssey. Crew, um, 1,600. Launched 2409. Captain Vakel Sean, who is an Andorian. And we've got a beautiful um, ship image there. Absolutely gorgeous. I really love the Odyssey class ship. I think it's an absolute stunner. Um... Because it seems like the natural progression of the um, the sovereign class, which I should have had one out and compared, but it's up there somewhere. Um, and um, and it's got elements of both galaxy and sovereign in there. But anyway, I'll get onto that later. So, setting a war on 23, 2409 Star Trek Online is saw Starfleet develop a bold new iteration of the USS Enterprise. And we've got a beautiful image. I think that's actually from the uh, game itself. Um, that is fucking... It's a beautiful looking ship. It's very, do you know what? John Eves didn't design this, but it's very John Eves inspired. Um, there we go. Designing the Enterprise F. Adam Ihale. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. I do apologise if I am. Enterprise F was developed as a result of a Star Trek Online's Build Your Own Enterprise contest. Yeah. The Enterprise F was appears on, in Star Trek Online designed by Adam Ihill and Adam Williams. And then we've got a beautiful uh, image of the ship itself there. And then we've got some um, sort of other designs which they use this. You can get this ship in, in store as well. Um, which is Magilatic. Magilatic. Oh, fucking hell. Magilan. Magilad. Oh, fucking hell. I can't speak. What's wrong with me? Magellantic class, yeah, which you can get that in the in the uh, in the game. I think it's a bit ugly, to be honest. Um, and then we've got sort of a uh, pencil drawing of it there, and then we've showing you basically the the size layout. But actually, I think it's a bit bigger than that. Um, you can see it's not quite a full design yet because the nacelles are not quite as long on that picture there. But you can see the design going into it there. Um, yeah. And then we've got some more, just sort of more passes, making it a bit more sort of in line with both Starfleet technology and the game itself as well. And then we've got more CG render of it there. 
Um, and then we've got some um, screenshots of the game. And then we've got the um, Aquarius Attack Shuttle. We, I want this next, please, Eagle Moss, if you're listening. This. Uh, because on the tactical variant, um, you can have that fly around and harass the enemy. It's pretty cool. That's what I've got on mine. However, I did buy the tactical um, variant. Although my Odyssey class is the prototype Odyssey, so it's got slightly better hull and um, shield re regeneration um, per minute, and it's even, and it's got a better, more advanced quantum slipstream drive, so it's longer, lasts longer, and um, it uh, takes less time to um, recharge as well, which is really cool. So I could do tour of the galaxy in about I don't know twenty minutes thereabouts. Um, and then we've got the topographical view there. Absolutely stunner. Really is fucking beautiful shit. Really is. I love it. I think it's one of the best designs come to come from the game. And then we've got the Tale of Two Timelines. Star Trek Online. Yeah, now... Um, so we've got Tilly, Killy, whatever her face is from... Um, the, the, what people are describing as the room of Star Trek, Star Trek Discovery. Um, some various images of the uh, thingy there. A damaged Enterprise F there. Uh, then we got the captain. Um, that's Captain Shran, I think. Jeffrey Coombs, yeah. And then we've got just an image of the Enterprise F there and a bit on the game itself, which is pretty cool. Um, play for free on PC, Xbox, PS4. And then we've got an image on the ship of the on the back itself. Also in the uh, package as well. You get um, one of these. I think I used my other one. Basically, I've got a, an Odyssey class ship. So if you play the game and you put that code in, um, you can get one for yourself. Because because I've got two of these. I've got two different codes. It's the same code basically, and you get an Odyssey class ship. So if you want one, there and there's the instructions how to use it. So whoever whoever puts that in first, it's all yours. So yeah, so yeah. So onto the ships. Don't say that very often, do I? Onto the ships. Right, we'll have a look at the, the Starfleet. Um, the normal Starfleet colours one first. I'm going to look onto the other. Look at this bad boy. It is absolutely stunning. I really do like it. The only problem I've got with it, though, is the nacelles are painted and not clear plastic. Come on, Eagle Moss. We're nearly at the end of this now. That's just a given, isn't it? But other than that, um, I can't follow it. I think it's an absolutely stunning model. Uh, the only other thing as well is, in the game, there's, there's a gap in here. Uh, you can see they've put, the, they've put an extra bit of stability there. That's just to keep the saucer on straight, based on these two um, connecting dorsals. The idea is in the game that warp drives are much more efficient if there's a gap there. That's why um, the Enterprise E hasn't got a large... Um, neck and Voyager, but they also discovered that you can actually just make it a bit more streamlined, basically to travel through warps, but the warp field. Um, but fucking absolutely beautiful. The only other thing as well is the phaser banks aren't painted on this, but I'm sure I could rectify that. Um, in the game, you've got saucer separation as well, or chevron separation. This whole section is your star drive there. You've got your torpedo launcher sensor arrays. Um, although I'd put the register just me. I would put the registry number just in that bit there, but that's just me. Or maybe even down here. I might put it there actually. Um, just seems a bit too forward, but you know that's just that's just a nitpick. It really is just a nitpick. Um, yeah, you're not going to see it. But it's got a Starfleet pennant on the top there. It's got the USS Enterprise on, on just on there as well. Um, you've got the that's where the Aquarius goes. It's got its own little shuttle uh, hangar there. Um, oh, just fucking absolutely gorgeous, the ship. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so we'll have a look at the other one. But I think this um, colour scheme is far better. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I really do. This is how I have my um, Odyssey class, except I've got Borg. I've got the Borg set on it. So I've got Borg, Impulse Engines, Borg... Um, Assimilated um, tractor beam, uh, deflected dish, nacelles, so it's basically Borg. It's, I describe it because I've got anti Borg enhanced anti Borg weapons. 
and they fire um, quantum torpedoes, omega torpedoes. I've got a ball cutting beam on there, so effectively I can fight like a ball cube. I've got regenerative shields and all the rest of it. It's fucking gorgeous. Anyway, I'm not talking about my ship. I'm talking about this ship. And oh, I love the black and the white. It just works. Except no impulse engines on this one. They haven't been put in. So I'm going to have to look into that. Again, no clear plastic on the cells. I love the black strips on the cells. I love the bottom there. Absolutely gorgeous. It's even got a different deflector dish. Um, but never in a million years would I thought would I get one and the Enterprise F. Now, Eagle Moss... Um, if you're watching, come on Ben, I know you watch my videos, but you don't say you do, I know you do. Because I tag you in them on Twitter every time, so I know you watch them. Um, can we have an XL of this please? Um, although I haven't got any XLs yet, that would be the first one I buy. Um, because I've said many a times, I'm going to get the main line done first. When it's all said and done, that's when I'll do the... Um, um, Excel ships because then I can sort of spread the cost out a bit better, you know. But and I'll get that. I still want the Salak of Malian, I still want the Nostromo and stuff like that. Um, and I still want the original Battlestar Galactica, so I will be getting a few of those as well. But, um, but anyway, yeah, uh, just absolutely, absolutely stunning. And you know what? Again, they it's a ship they didn't have to do, but it's an Enterprise and they had to do it, really. Um, oh, actually, do you know what? I just thought. What about the Typhoon from Star Trek Invasion on the PS1 and the uh, Premonition from Star Trek Armada? Now, those two ships would be quite nice as well, yes. Because we're getting ships from... Because we're getting ships from the games, we're getting ships from all the universes, and we are now getting a ship from the comic books, the IDW comics, I think it's... Is it um, oh, the Mirror Universe one? The Next Generation Mirror Universe, where they've got a, next, a TNG Mirror Universe... Ice Enterprise D, which is the future Enterprise, with all the um, Mirror Universe stuff on it. Um, I need that. I need that. So but I can't afford it yet at the moment because I'm a bit poor. I'm saving up for TF Nation, so, you know. Um, yeah, my advice is get these ships. Get them while they're hot. Get them, get them, get them, get them. I mean, if you want both like me, get both. But pick one you like the best and then just have it because it's, it's another Enterprise for the collection, isn't it? Um, it's just an absolute stunner of a ship. I fucking love it. I'm just gushing over it, really. Like I say, there are some minor nitpicks I've got for these ships, but I I um I can let that slide. I really can, um, because I just absolutely love it. And again, it's a ship that they didn't have to give us. Um, but yeah, but I mean, how many prizes have we got now, though? We've got. Let's see. We have NX01, Mirror, hang on, I'll do the Mirror 1 ships in a minute. We've got NX01, 1701, 1701 Refit, 1701 um, Prototype uh, Refit from um, Andrew Probert. We have, um, hang on a minute, we have the Enterprise B, the Enterprise C, the um, Probert Prototype C, uh, the D, the future Enterprise D, the mirror. I'll do the mirror ships in a minute. Um, the mirror, the future Enterprise, the um, Enterprise E, two versions of the Enterprise F, um, two versions of the Enterprise F. Then we've got um, Enterprise J. Then we've got the O9 Enterprise, the Discovery Enterprise, which I haven't got yet, but I will get. Um, the the Mirror NX01, the Refit NX01, the um, Mirror 1701, the uh, Mirror 17 Future Enterprise as well. So there's about 20 Enterprises we've got now in this collection. And then there's the Excel ones as well. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Lots of Enterprises, lots of Enterprises. Oh, you, you can never have enough. So anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. You should absolutely get get both, but if you if you can't afford both, get one, whichever one you like the look of more. Um, but yeah, you should get it. I mean, it's a, it's an enterprise, and you can't not have it. Um, yeah, I think it's um, I think it's an absolute stunner of a ship. I really do. So, oh yeah, one thing I will say as well is when I got my um, Bonaventura, they give us they packaged them with the wrong stand. 
they actually packaged them with the Enterprise F stand. So if you've got the Bonaventura, swap the stands over. Um, and it's that one that comes with the wrong stand. Um, swap them over and it's fine. So yeah. So we've got Enterprise F. Just USS Enterprise F. It sits on the stand thus. And then we've got the Enterprise F. And it sits on the stand thus. And these will fucking look real nice next to the Enterprise E. These are absolutely gorgeous. So that's me. That's um, the Enterprise 1701F. Um, so the usual gubbins. Um, if you uh, like what I do, hit that notification bell. Tell me when I've got uh, new videos. Smash that like button. Helps the channel out. Um, you can check out my playlist here, which will have all my Star Trek reviews. But check out my Transformer reviews and my gameplay footage. I will endeavour to play more games. I'm just out of time at the moment. Um, but because I'm planning things, so I'm just going to work things out and then do, you know, more video games. Games and games and more games and you've got games. And then, um, and if you would, if you like what I do and like to see me um, do bigger and better things, consider doing it donate into Patreon. It's $1 a month. You get your name in the, in the um, titles and you help keep the lights on it, um, shares the thrust. So um, that's me. That's the Enterprise F. And I'll catch you all very, very, very soon. Adios.